Understanding the navigation ball is not that difficult, but it's very rare to see e-readers that have this overlaying UI element, and you don't actually find it in settings. It's its own designated application right here. It's called navigation ball. And this actually goes into how you take screenshots on this device as well. So what we're going to do is enable it first, and that's going to bring it down here on the bottom right corner. You see, you can move it around like so, and if you tap on it, there comes your element. So you have five buttons, five, five main buttons. So you can assign each button to one thing. Although it's not labeled, the button one is on the top right and button five will be on the bottom left. And you'll see that each one refers to this list here. Button one is back, button two is volume, button three is apt optimization, button four is multitask switch, and button five is shut down. No, you do not need to be on this menu in order to use the navigation ball. You can literally be anywhere. For example, if we go to notes, the navigation ball is still there. This will allow you to do everything as you see fit. You can press back, you can do volume and it actually goes to the navigation menu or you can press shut down and it gives you power off and restart. But that's not what we want to look at. We want to basically look at how to um, take screenshots. So you'll notice that there are no screenshot uh, buttons on this device as well as you can't tap the two corners like that like on some e-ink devices and take a screenshot. Also, if you're thinking you can press the power button and the home button at the same time, it actually doesn't do anything. It just brings up the power options because it thinks you're trying to shut it down. So what you have to do is you have to assign it somewhere. So I don't particularly like the shutdown icon there. So I'm going to switch it to screenshot. And you can see there's a ton of things here. There's actually two pages of them too. So you can choose basically anything. I'm going to choose screenshot for that one. And then you go back. And now you can see five is a screenshot. And for example, the back button, I actually like the back button, so forget that. The volume button, I'm going to assign to something else. So I can swipe it here and I can choose, I don't know, note. So then I'll go back and when I tap the ball now, that will be the quick key to get to notes. So that's really cool. Anyways, this is how you take a screenshot. You take it like that. And if you're wondering, is the navigation ball going to be there? It is not, because if you saw what happened, even if we're at the home here and we press screenshot, it wipes away, takes the screenshot, and then it comes back. So um, you actually can't take a screenshot of the navigation ball. At least we don't know how. We haven't figured out how to do that. But this is how you basically take screenshots on this device. And you can do it anywhere because the navigation ball will be there and you can move it around if you want. So you can move it over here and you can see it always makes sure it isolates itself so that it doesn't block off any of the actual keys. So if you're near the bottom, it'll be this rainbowing arc. If you're in the bottom right corner or something, it will create the buttons like so. So if you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, or anything else you want to see, these little tips and tricks and tutorials, let us know. But this is how to take screenshots on the Nova 2.